Edexcel A-Level Maths, Statistics and Mechanics, Summer 2018, Question 1. Helen believes that the random variable C, representing cloud cover from the large data set, can be modelled by a discrete uniform distribution. We want to write down the probability distribution for C. Well, on the large data set, we can see that cloud cover is measured from 0 to 8, so that's 9 different amounts of cloud cover. It's a discrete uniform distribution, so that means the probability of each of those is going to be the same, hence everything is going to have a probability of 1 ninth. You can see on the table we've got our small c representing each of the different amounts of cloud cover from 0 to 8, and our bottom row is a probability of large c equaling small c, each of those is a ninth. And if we just check, because there's 9 of them, 9 times a ninth adds up to 1. Part B, using this model, find the probability that cloud cover is less than 50%. As our cloud cover model goes up to 8, 50% must be 4, so we want the probability that it's less than 4. This means it's 0, 1, 2 or 3, each of them is a ninth. So as there's 4 of them, the probability is 4 ninths. Now Helen's used all the data from the large data set for Hearn in 2015 and found that the proportion of days with cloud cover of less than 50% was actually 0.315. We're going to use this to comment on the suitability of Helen's model in the light of this information. Well, 0.315 is significantly lower than the 4 ninths that the original model gives us. 4 ninths is obviously 0.4 recurring. So because it's a lot lower, we can say that the model is not good. Now for an appropriate refinement, we need to say something along the lines of the cloud cover will vary each month, or cloud cover will vary from place to place, so something suggesting why this can't be modelled by a discrete uniform distribution. And because we're saying it's varying, we're also going to say we'll use a non-uniform distribution. As long as you've got those two facts in there, you'll get the mark. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.